हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस हैबिटाट थैलस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और कॉलोनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड सेल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वोलबोक्स सो व्हाट इज वोलबोक्स वोलबोक्स इज ए ग्रीन एलगी दैट इज फाउंड इन फ्रेश वाटर एंड दिस एलगी इज ए इज इन प्रेजेंट इन कॉलोनियल फॉर्म and which type of colony which type of colony it have it have synobium type of colony so it is found in synobium form it is a green alga that is fresh water that is found in fresh water uh, it is mostly found in ponds lakes other water reservoirs it is predominantly found in rainy season in rainy season you will found a greenish mat on the surface of the water that that greenish mat is mainly composed of volvox so volvox is a planktonic algae <laughs> there are worldwide 20 species of volvox are found but in india only six species are found <laughs> now coming to thallus structure so it is a special type of colony that is called synobium so it is found in form of colony that is synobium where number and size shape of colony is fixed number way may vary from 500 to 50000 it varies species to species and colony to colony so all the cells these cells are present in a gelatinous matrix so this is a gelatinous matrix this whole is a gelatinous matrix and in this gelatinous matrix 5000 500 to 5000 cells are embedded so there is a common gelatinous matrix of a colony common gelatinous matrix of colony and each cell also have its own gelatinous matrix <laughs> so i am enlarging this part of the colony this part of colony so here you can see that these are peripheral cell these are cells that are present on periphery so cells so cells that are present on periphery have flagella they are biflagellated and each cell you can see that these are individual cells that are present in a colony and this is mucilaginous sheath of this cell and this is mucilaginous sheath of this cell and each cells you can see that here each cell have its own gelatinous sheath and each cell is connected to cytoplasmic strands so here you can see that these red colored strands are cytoplasmic strand so each cell in colony is connected to cytoplasmic strand so in thallus structure we can say that it is a synovial alga and shape may be round or oval size is pin head size pin pin head size the size of this colony is pin head <laughs> and the number of cell in a uh, you can say synobium may be 500 to 50 uh, 50000 so in the structure you can see that there is a common gelatinous matrix 
this wall, these cell are embedded in a common gelatinous matrix and each cell have its own gelatinous matrix. Each cell is connected to cytoplasmic strand. One thing that is uh, very important, this synovium shows polarity. This part of this synovium is called posterior part and this side is anterior side. Here the cells that are present on the periphery we know that they are flagellated and movement of this uh, you can say synovium occurs through beating of flagella that are present on the periphery, uh, beating of the flagella of the cells that are present on the periphery. So each cell on periphery have a eye spot that is sensitive to light that sends light and it's, it's control its movement toward regulate its movement towards light. So in the anterior portion in this portion these eye spots are well developed but at the posterior portions size of eye spot is small and here in this side the size is very large. So you can say that there is a polarity because there is a difference in size of eye spot in both sides. In posterior side they are smaller in size but in case of anterior side they are larger in size. So in that case there may be these the flagella towards anterior side controls its movement. So this is a uh, you can say synovium or <laughs> colony, a particular colony that is found in volvox. So now coming to cell structure of volvox. So simple eukaryotic cell is there, oval shaped cell and the cell is biflagellated, two flagella are there which are Viplas type, cell wall is made up of, outer layer is cell wall made up of cellulose, <laughs> cell membrane is there, lipid bilayer. This red color is eye spot, eye spot is present with control movement of this flagella towards flagella <laughs> and Curved plate like chloroplast is present inside chloroplast a distinct pyrenoid maybe one or two is present mitochondria is also there well developed nucleus is there inside nucleus there is nucleolus so a typical eukaryotic cell is present in which cup shaped chloroplast is there, uh, eye spot is present, two flagella are there, viplast type of flagella are there, <laughs> pyrenoid is present inside chloroplast, it may be one or maybe two. All the organelles that are found in eukaryotic uh, cell or plant cells, is, uh, all organelles are present in this cell. So this is all about its habitat, its colony structure and cell structure.